as all of you know, we, uh, Quality Digest is one of the partners with the Coordinate Metrology Society. And we got an interesting piece of news and an interview coming up here in a second. Uh, the Coordinate Metrology Society recently announced the results of their third large-scale measurement study conducted at the 28th Annual Coordinate Metrology Systems Conference, the CMSC, held in New Orleans just a few months ago. And we've talked about this study and the, and the ongoing efforts of the CMS to create uh, a certification program for portable 3D metrology. Uh, these studies that have been done over the past couple of years are part of the data gathering for creating the program. Uh, this year's measurement study was developed to support the organization's certification cognitive examination development process, which will culminate in the industry's first level one personnel certification program for portable 3D metrology. The study's main focus was to test the methodology of practical testing rather than the evaluation of the measurement results. So joining us today to tell us a little bit about the study and its result is Keith Bevan, product manager at the National Physical Laboratory in the UK, coming to us via Skype from the UK. Hey, Bill. Keith. Keith, <laughs> the other Bill. Hey, Keith, how are you doing? Uh, good morning. How are you? Pretty good. So, so Keith, uh, tell us uh, just really briefly, just to set the stage, what the, the measurement study is about and then what you discovered this year. Okay, so this year's measurement study, uh, I think as you mentioned, was about the importance of practical testing. So we, we really wanted to contribute to the development of the uh, the examination process that the uh, the subcommittee of CMSC have been working on, um, and piloted the uh, the exam at this year's uh, conference. So we, we we need to sort of look at the different methods of how we can go about assessing people and looking at their competence. Um, so we take we talk. We had six in total different areas where we had different pieces of equipment which allowed us to do a particular method around that practical testing. And so, so there's both a, a, a practical testing aspect and there is also a, um, what, a, a, general, knowledge, uh, a general knowledge testing as, as well. Do I have that right? Yeah, part of the, the, the testing that we actually did in the measurement study was to actually look at um, the way people went about doing a measurement, we sort of tried in from the previous year about behaviours. So we sort of included that in a particular process. So we set up a process for the individuals to take. I mean, there was a whole group of people that were involved in this. And, and, and per booth, there was three people that were, were associated to the practical test. There was the person themselves, what we called the participant. There was a person doing observations. And then there was, uh, there was an applications engineer. So between the three, the idea was to actually go through the practical test. And the participant was the person who would be telling the applications engineer what they wanted them to do. And the observer was using a process to see whether uh, the individual would get uh, Keith, well, Keith, Keith, you're 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 breaking up a little bit, Keith. We're going to uh... well, you broke up a little bit there, but I think I understood. Uh, I'm going to repeat back what I think you were saying, and you can just acknowledge. <laughs> Sometimes your your audio is cutting out because of uh, the the Skype connection, but it sounds like what you're saying is the practical test. Um, you had a, a person who was telling the participant what they want them to, wanted them to do. The participant would then try to do that operation, that, that measurement operation that they were instructed to do, and then they were observed on how well they carried that out. Is that right? Yeah, I think oh. we, we, lost, uh, I, we I, lost. I can see that. But I, th I think you're right on that. I think that you have that correct. And, and this is an evolution of, of what the CMSC has been doing in this space. Because we've, we've been there, and Keith's been there for several years now. Right. This measurement study has been a big part of what the CMSC has done for several years now. Uh, connecting in again to their certification work and leading into this first level one certification. And they've done things like looking at the behaviors of, of users as they take measurements. And really what they're trying to do here is they're trying to understand in the field, in the practical world, what is needed and, and how they can help address the skill sets, the body knowledge that is needed for metrologists to, to understand how to use the tools and the equipment of 
quite right. Quite and quite and I, I hope, hopefully we'll be able to get Keith. Uh, the Skype. He is coming from the UK, and the Skype connection yeah. uh, wasn't all that great. If we can get him back on, we'll we'll kind of follow up. Um, but I, what I do want to find out is kind of the results, because really the the purpose of this data collection, both from a uh, uh, from a knowledge point of view, do people understand measurement basics, mm -hmm. and also from a practical point of view, do they understand how to use a portable arm? Do yes. they know how to use a laser scanner? Do they know how to use whatever? Both of these come together to help them create the body of knowledge that they need in order to come up with the practical exams, the, the knowledge exams, and so forth in order to, um, uh, in, in order to come up with the, the, the questions and so forth that they're, they're going to ask as part of the certification. Well, if we can't get Keith back, I'll say this, because I know we, we chatted with him before, before right. the show a little bit. He derived an 83-page survey. Study, uh, results of the study uh, that is available to members of the CMSC, but on the CMSC website, www.cmsc.org, you can access the summary of, of right. the data. And there's a lot of interesting nuggets just in the summary where you can go out. Now, you can access that through, again, through the article because we ran the press release that you can link directly out to the CMSC website. From that press release, you can then access the executive summary. Uh, okay. re really good stuff. And I, I think we have, I oh, think we we have, have okay, great. Keith back on the. Do, do we have you, Keith? Yes, hello. It's um, I think it must be the bad weather across the Atlantic. Okay. <laughs> well, r really quickly here before we before we lose you, um, what were the what were the results? Kind kind of what were what were some interesting things that you discovered this year at the measurement science? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, dur during your your measurement um, study. Well, there was um, it, what was quite interesting. Some of the core principles again that we picked up in the past around the behavioral side, um, a lot of that wasn't actually picked up again. Um, the guys sort of, I suppose, in, in a way, concentrated on taking the measurements and not thought about all of the other things that they'd got to do. Um, I mean, we, we had a process we wanted to see what would happen. Um, and we, we, we had a complete repeat of, uh, of the behavioral thing. Um, and also there was a, an element of people, I suppose, in a way taking things for granted in the way in which they, they went and, and did things, not asking about the calibration, not asking about uh, any uncertainty associated with it, not asking about the design uh, requirements, because uh, we had a, a standard test piece and we had a, a part off a motorcycle as well. So there was a lot of other questions that we were trying to see if people would come up with as part of the uh, the test, and that really didn't didn't come out. Didn't score very highly in the positive way. Um, that the numbers were very high in the fact they didn't do things. Well, Keith, that's great, and I, I thank you for for putting the putting the point on that. While you were while we were getting you back, uh, Dirk and I chatted a little bit about the the fact that the the, the study is available on the CMSC website, and the summary is available for anyone who wants to go out and check that out uh, at, at www.cmsc.org. Uh, so we got to move on. I, I, I apologize to you, and I apologize to everyone out there for the, for our connection difficulties. But but Keith, again, thank you for joining us. We'll be certainly revisiting this topic as as we get into 2013. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks.